Virginia coming up. It's still 1-0. Chicago leading the Pirates. Give me some fun in the blazing sun. Give me a friend or two. When my first is not its worst, give me a mountain dew. Do it, do it, mountain dew. Do it, do it, cool and smooth. When I got a thirst, you're undiluted, undisputed. Do it, do it, mountain dew. You could be rolling in dough with the Pennsylvania Lottery's new instant game three for the dough. Each ticket gives you the chance to win cash, up to $50,000 instantly. Just find a winning combination of numbers. Grand prize is $1,000 a week for life, one million guaranteed. Now that's a lot of dough. Play the Pennsylvania Lottery's new $1 instant game, three for the dough. It could happen to you. The next three innings are sponsored in part by Giant Eagle, where absolute minimum prices mean you get the lowest total food bill. And by Pittsburgh's favorite pizza, Pan Pizza from Pizza Hut. By First Federal of Pittsburgh. And by your local Pepsi-Cola bottler, who invites you to have a Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. Welcome back once again to Wrigley Field in Chicago. All warmed up and ready to go to the fourth inning. Lanny Frateri has made his way over. Lanny, how are you keeping warm over there on the radio <laughs> not, side? Not very well, <laughs> I'm afraid, John. And by the way, good to be with you for another exciting season of Pirate Baseball. It really is. Let's hope we all have a good season on both radio and television and uh, down on the ball field. Yes, indeed. Jason Thompson leads off the top of the fourth. The Cubs a run on four hits. The Pirates no runs on two hits. Thompson walked his first time up. I've been watching a little bit of the uh, camera work over on the TV side. We've had some great close ups of the players this afternoon. And a good look at these new pirate uniforms, which I think look great. Yes, they do. Fouled off by Jason, strike one. <laughs> Cubs on top, one to nothing. Against Rick Sutcliffe. Thompson takes a strike. It's 0 2. Bounce in the dirt, 1 and 2. And they have our second Giant Eagle home run sweepstakes inning of the year. Bart Verbanek of Merrittstown. And the jackpot at $200. Thompson, Hendrick, and Pena. We look at Jody Davis, the Cubs catcher. He'll be backed up by Steve Lake. Sutcliffe tried to hit the outside corner. Fastball away, two and two. Turns on it well. The ball carrying down the right field line. It is a fair ball bouncing into the corner. And Thompson will pull into second base with a double. Wind blowing in from the right field side. Keith Moreland doesn't like the call. Moreland is claiming that the ball hit the wall as it came down. And Jim Pry is going to come out to continue that very same argument. In the meantime, Jason Thompson is going to be on at second with a double. Now the argument from the Cubs here. Let's take a look at it again. Now, my first reaction was that the ball did hit the wall coming down as well, and more Mullen is emphatic about it. I, I, I couldn't tell there. Could you? No, when the, pan, when the camera panned down, I really couldn't. It did look like it got into the corner beyond the foul line, but again, it's the first base umpire, Jerry Dale, who has the best look. Let's go back and take another look at it in slower motion this time. No, I can't, I can't tell. <laughs> well, Thompson's got the double. Well, what would opening day be without a little beef from the National League Manager of the Year? Jim Fry went out to argue, saying the way that Moreland came in to argue the call. 
No question, the ball hit the ground in fair territory. The Runner at second. Being, the question was, did it hit the wall in foul territory <laughs> before it hit the ground in fair territory? Yeah, Jason's at second base. Nobody had third fire hit of the game. And George Hendrick, the batter, batting for bat uh, for Bart uh, Verbanic in our Giant Eagle jackpot inning. George found a way to get the same size batting helmet here that he's had in St. Louis. <laughs> Inside ball one. The Cubs won and the Pirates nothing fourth inning. And Sutcliffe turning in the direction of second base. Thompson not that far off the bag. Wallow pitch kicks away from Davis Thompson breaking for third the throw and he's out. Yeah you hate to make that first out of an inning at third base. That's exactly what happened to Jason Thompson the ball kicks away from the catcher but Jody comes up firing and Thompson is a dead duck at third. Jody Davis a strong arm. And he jumped on the ball in a hurry. You know, Jason playing it aggressively and he broke as the ball started to roll away did not roll as far away as he hoped it would and so one away and the count is two balls and no strikes on Hendrick. Left field. Matthews has out number two. That all worked out for Chicago that is bid over the double in the right field corner did it hit the wall or didn't it. Thompson's out doesn't matter now two away and Tony Pena the batter. The Chicago Cubs leading one to nothing. Low and outside ball one. Tony Pena telling me yesterday that he felt he was in a pretty good groove at the plate. He said he hit the ball very hard on Sunday in the final spring training game. He said he only got one hit, but he said my stroke has really been pretty good. He's very happy. Strokes it out of play, one and one. Tony has been, for the most part, a streaky type of hitter. And so you hope to see him in the good groove because when he is, he can be very explosive at the plate. Sutcliffe getting the starting assignment for Chicago after the job he did leading the Cubs in 1984. One ball one strike pitch. Foul ball and it's one and two. See Bob Skinner back to the number that he wore as a pirate number four. That number had been worn by Dale Barra and then the spring by Benny DiStefano. Another number change for you is watch this uh, pirate telecast. Bill Allman's wearing number 12. Nobody on and two down. The Cubs one and the Pirates nothing in the fourth inning. Sutcliffe dropped down. Did Pena go after it? First base umpire Jerry Dale says no. The Cubs, they're not getting off on the right foot with Jerry Dale in 1985. It's not going to be their favorite man in the ballpark this afternoon. Not at all. Two and two on Pena. Here's Sutcliffe's next pitch. Came in with a fastball and Pena. Fouls it back to the upper deck. Standing room only at Wrigley Field. Start of the 85 season. National League opener yesterday. Pete Rose led the way as the Reds beat the Expos. 2-2 pitch. Yeah, dropped down again. And it's a full count. 
Other games this afternoon, Lanny, it's now four to two. The Mets are leading the Cardinals. That game's in the top of the fifth in Shea Stadium. Home run for George Foster in that game for the Mets and a home run for Jack Clark with his new Cardinal uh, teammates. Give you an example of what it's like here. 40,000 or so on hand. Like to see that many people in Three Rivers on Friday night. Payoff pitch, fouled off, popped up, got Tony in the face. And Tony Barnum will come out quickly. Tony takes enough of a beating behind the plate. You hate to see him when he's at bat get beat up. Yeah, that know you were talking about 40,000. No, Steve Greenberg today. 32,000 tickets have been sold for Friday. I've been told that the weather for Chicago for Thursday is supposed to be very, very good, and hope that if that's true, that it'll come into Pittsburgh on Friday. A few of the balloons that got hung up here today. Three and two on Pena. Two down. Nobody on. Fly ball to right. Coming on. Moreland can't get to it. Tony Pena has a two out single. Took one off the face and then decided to get right back in there. Deliver the hit. Pirates with four hits now. The Cubs leading one to nothing. And of course the key to this inning thus far the fact that Jason was caught at third base when the ball kicked away from Jody Davis. You can't assume that Jason would have scored on that base hit, but then you'd have men at least at first and third with one out instead of at first with two away. And I think Jason realized uh, maybe uh, two thirds of the way down he had made the wrong decision, but at the time he saw the ball pop away, thought it might be far enough to make it, but did not. Froebel struck out his first time up and takes outside ball one. Bart Verbanek is our contestant in this fourth inning, $200 in the Giant Eagle jackpot. Froble hitting in the number seven spot. Expect to see Sixto Toscano playing left field on Thursday when Steve Trout starts for Chicago. It'll be Trout and Jose De Leon in game two. And McWilliams gets the home opener Friday night. Pena's at first with two outs. Rick Sutcliffe falling behind Froebel 2 0. Oh. And I know on Friday night you're going to have some fun. You'll be the MC at uh, Three Rivers. Let's hope for some good warm weather as you introduce some of the old Pirates bringing back from 25 years ago that championship team. Yes, indeed. Looking forward to it. Bill Mazeroski throwing out the first pitch. And yes, uh, about a ton of black coffee, please. Uh, the <laughs> Hot black up. <laughs> the uh, honored guest Katie Murta, Bob Friend, and Vernon Law. Throw to first base. I hope I remember how to put a tuxedo on. It's been a while since <laughs> I've worn one. The number is 323 1150. You can call right now and order your tickets. Time has been called here. <laughs> Tony Pena trying to work on that track around first base. Steve Demeter, first base coach, and Though we really miss Joel Annette and Harvey Haddix and Al Monchek, you have to be happy for guys like Mel Graff and Steve Demeter that work so hard in the organization. Steve was our manager at Charleston the two years that I did play by play of the Charlie. Steve Demeter, by the way, from Homer City, and he has a brother and sister that live up that way, so he's very familiar with the Pittsburgh area. Swing and a miss by Froebel. Two balls and a strike in this inning. Thompson doubled, but then was thrown out at third. Ball popped away from Jody Davis, but Davis got on it in time to throw Jason out at third. Hendrick fly to left, and Pena singled to right. The Cubs run in the bottom of the first inning. Chicago scored one run on four hits. Keith Moreland with a two out single to drive in Gary Matthews. Swing and a miss, two and two. Two two pitch makes it a full count. Pena will be running with two outs. Leon Durham will move behind the runner. The Cubs won. Pirates nothing in the fourth. 